Uh, hey, Rick. Uh, what's happening? <laughs> Nothing, man. man. We're just traveling again, dude. No rest for the vlog. Yeah, no, no. We came out here to uh, to Minnesota to rent this four-cylinder convertible Mustang. That's it's pretty sweet. That's not actually what we did. We were supposed to be getting a freaking Hemi Challenger. Turns out, or similar means four-cylinder Mustang. But a tough break there. I thought that we were going to get to cut the converters off of it and have Nick Seuss here from Michigan and he'd be here in 10 minutes, but <laughs> it's not the case. We're going to have to do a little testing on this thing to make sure it's actually worthy of you know, moving us around for the next couple days. But uh, yeah. yeah, interesting trip here for a couple of reasons. One, it's just me and Rick. <laughs> you got no Leo, you got no Seuss. We're doing something, there's only room for two. So we got tagged this weekend. So I don't know, you know, it's gonna be a little different for you guys. I'm thinking though, to try to simulate Leo being here, I can just, you know, like yeah, film. That's, that's about <laughs> what I see when he film, the camera. <laughs> film like this, say a bunch of smart remarks. But anyways. What are we so doing? We're out here for the model year 21 Polaris press event that they have at their headquarters in Minnesota. So they're going to be going over some new features for the model year 21 uh, Ranger, General, Sportsman. I think there's going to be maybe some Razor stuff sprinkled in there too. Yep, yep, so yep. We're going to be checking out uh, those new models, seeing the new features, seeing what those guys got to say about them. Asking some questions, eating some food, having some fun. Yeah, it's just going to be a good time. So we're going out to the Polaris, you know, headquarters slash testing facility. We're going to do a bunch of ripping, but uh, that's tomorrow for tonight. We're going to do a bunch of ripping in this thing, see what it's got. We got about a 45 minute drive to the hotel. So uh, hopefully they, we can make it there without any trouble. Yeah, but, I think we got to rip into some fast food place first off. All right. Like Chick-fil-A, maybe get a double quarter pound. Let's do it. Don't you? Let's do it. Freaking big Mustang, guys. Big Mustang guy. What is this, a manual? No, tough break. Uh, oh my gosh, can you see where we're at? Oh yeah, you can. <laughs> what did we just do? Certain members of the group aren't down with White Castle, so when we get the opportunity to get White Castle, we're getting White Castle. <laughs> So, did we need to order for two of us a Crave Crate with 100 slides? <laughs> no, probably not, but hey, that's what happened. Hey, listen, when in Minnesota, dude, <laughs> just get 100 burgers. There's one guy working here. There's one poor guy working. We tipped him 20 bucks. Yeah. Said sorry. That's, that was the right move. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah. He's going to make them with love now. Yeah. Probably not, but we'll we're, think uh, that. we're either going to be burning right after this or burning very, very wrong, but that's all right. Hey, listen. We got a four-cylinder Mustang, dude. We'll at least be burning as oh, good yeah, as this. Listen to this thing, dude. It doesn't oh, even. Oh my fit God! The... You gotta be kidding <laughs> it me! It doesn't even fit through the window. <laughs> oh, what? It didn't fit through it didn't his fit window? Through. I think he probably could have tipped it. Through oh a my God! Nah, you can't do that, though. He's I mean, gonna bring it. Around. He's gonna bring it around. It's too oh, big. Oh <laughs> my gosh! All right, here you go. So <laughs> it's not gonna fit through this window oh. either. <laughs> Hey, don't be gentle. It's just a rental. No problem, dude. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks, brother. Right, have a good night, have man. A good night. Sorry about that. Yeah, no it's problem, bigger dude. than it's bigger dude, than you are. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Open that thing up real quick. Count the burgers in oh there. Oh yeah, there's a hundred. Oh there's look at these things, dude. Oh, there's one right there. Have a bite of that. Check it out. I mean, it's about what you say. <laughs> what cost the burger? Excellent. We better go make sure this uh, four cylinder can handle the weight of this thing. She might be bogged down a little bit. Oh my gosh, so we got through 12 burgers. I mean, how do you feel about that? I'm feeling okay so far, feeling okay. About to see what this Mustang right, feels about right. it. What do we got here? Listen, we're just doing a little all performance right. test, dude. We're at St. Paul Speedway, close course. We're just gonna see if she'll spin the tires yeah, a little bit. Yeah, we got advanced track off. What do you think, we need drag mode? Drag mode. Oh, for sure, dude. Drag big, mode. big drag car. You're probably right, dude. Are you kidding no me, problem, dude? No problem, dude. You know what? EcoBoost power, dude. That End little turbo day. says don't care nothing about oh that crave crazy. Gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude, I think this thing needs a freaking burger itself. <laughs> she didn't like the Dhoni too much. She said, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and kick the traction control oh back. Oh my gosh. But you know what, this is a this is a good unit. This is a good, a good unit. And look at unit. this, the Crave Crate, pretty close to being directly over the rear wheels, kind of, sort of. <laughs> All that way, dude. 
Yeah, oh, this, you EcoBoost haters, dude. This thing's gonna get us where we need to go, no yeah, problem. <laughs> for sure. All right, to All the right. hotel. Yep. We made it to the hotel. Got a nice place. <laughs> Rick's got his grave case. <laughs> Tough break. We'll reinforce it for tomorrow. <laughs> Early the next morning. It's the next morning, Rick. It is time. Yeah, so we're uh, taking off from the hotel. We're gonna head over to Polaris. Check out new model year 21 units. Bringing the crave crate with us. Uh, yeah, I mean, you got 100 burgers. You gotta just be full wherever you go. Yeah. And we made it through 12 of them last night, so there's 88 left in there. And if there's anyone hungry there, you know, get them covered. No big deal. <laughs> uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be, get to see, and you know, I'll make sure all these units can carry 88 burgers. Because that's a very important feature that you want side-by-side <laughs> -side to be able to just carry 88 burgers. 100, 100%, man. We're going to go out on the trails. you got to make sure you stay, you know, stay sustained. But... Uh, yeah, so anyway, it should be really cool. I've been to this facility before. Rick has not. Uh, this is uh, one of Polaris' test facilities, and uh, it's a really neat place. So uh, Nick Seuss and I went on a Ranger uh, test ride here previously, so looking forward to it today. Honestly, we're going to do a couple of guided rides, and then there's going to be some time where they're just going to let us rip, and we're going to have sportsmen, we're going to have razors, we're going to have generals, we're going to have rangers, and we're just going to uh, explore around the Polaris facilities and see what kind of trouble we can get yeah. into so it's gonna be super neat all right let's get yelp you can kind of see it but we're here dougie polaris hq indeed look at the security man this is where all the secrets are so that's basically the building where all the development of polaris off-road vehicles happen so i think the goal today that's not where we're going we're going across the road to more of their open testing facility I think the goal today is to somehow sneak over there, infiltrate the building, and uh, get all the secrets. Well, I'm into that. <laughs> Scope this out, but yeah, man, I'm excited. This is gonna be this is gonna be really fun. We're gonna have a lot of different stuff to ride today. So just gonna go out, have a good time. They're just gonna turn us loose, and uh, you know, before that, we'll hear about the products. You know, some little meetings, some little interview stuff. So we'll, uh, you know. At this point, all of this is released, so if you guys have been researching these particular models, you know what has changed, but we'll go over that stuff, and then uh, we'll see how they actually work. So. Alright, brother, it's time to rip. So what we've been waiting for. We got the rundown on all the units. Lots of cool stuff going on. We'll talk about that a little bit more later, but right now it's time to just go out and send it. So we're gonna end up driving everything. We're gonna drive Rangers, we're gonna drive Generals, we're gonna drive Sportsmen, we're gonna drive Razors, but uh, our group is on the Rangers first. Yeah, so Rangers and then Sportsmen after that. Yeah, we'll make our way over there, find ourselves a couple good units, get some cameras set up, see what happens. That's a good rip. All right, we got our first unit. Freaking Ranger, <laughs> Ranger North Star Ultimate. This takes me back to the OG Mav days. Full cab. It's got heat. It's got AC. Okay, the OG Mav didn't have that. But <laughs> no, it's got all the good stuff. This is what you need. So basically, right now, we're just going to uh, essentially get a tour around the place, do a couple of laps right. uh, before they let us loose on our own, which is fine. So just, uh, yeah, nice cruise, man. Experience this thing. Lots of you know, lots of nice changes for the model year. Tons of little incremental changes for you know strength, durability, comfort, all that stuff. So this is uh, this is gonna be a good ride. It's got freaking power windows. Look at this. <laughs> Whoa! Freaking Whoa, man! Ripping. It's hard for me to believe that at one time mud life was similar to this unit i like yeah just is completely different feeling <laughs> maybe we need another ranger all right yeah. rick how you feel about the riding so far well used to a little bit more of a sport machine i don't know so i'm excited to get to rip the razor right pro xp get to be a little more aggressive yeah so 
finish up this lunch. I think we got a little Q&A session, and then uh, it's back to basically just ripping for the afternoon, so. Yeah, the Ranger was cool, though. I mean, that AC with the cab, it's I like that. Next big, level. Big fan of that. Next level comfort, but uh, yeah, all right, we'll finish up lunch. We'll see if we can get back out there and uh, escalate things a little bit. All right, let's do that. All right, we're going back out on the Rangers. It's time now for the real testing. <laughs> yeah. So you saw the Crave Crate last night. There's 88 burgers left in this thing. So we're just gonna test a couple different units to see which one handles the Crave Crate the best. <laughs> a lot of science went into this test. I, I mean, yeah, that, that box, it's hundreds of pounds of burgers in that, in that box right there. So how does the chassis handle the weight? How many burgers go flying? Who's to say? Real, so. Yeah, real testament of the machine if it can handle this. So we're gonna see how it goes. <laughs> we'll get a Crave Cam set up and uh, hopefully these bad boys survive. Yeah, Godspeed you guys. It's time for the ultimate test of this machine. Yep, we got, we got 88 burgers in the back. We gotta put it in perf mode. People enjoy real food, just like that real burger Absolutely. selection we got back there. <laughs> Let's see how this thing holds up. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. Oh man, Honestly, what do we got there? Okay, we lost one. Ooh. <laughs> I, I did great. I mean, I was expecting that to be a lot worse. I mean, yeah, overall. Some, some pretty aggressive work. Some pretty aggressive driving. You know, I think. And these I, were not secured. I think we should up the stakes a little bit. You know, we got a lot of guys from the, you know, product teams here for each one of these vehicles. I think every burger that comes out you know, the product team should have to eat it. I don't know how they're gonna feel about that. <laughs> we'll, we'll fill them in on the plan, yeah. but. <laughs> uh, man, I would say overall 2021 Ranger passes the White Castle hauling test. What are we calling this, hauling challenge? Uh, man, yeah, that's a good question, I'm sure. Listen, it doesn't have a name, but it did a good job. The yeah. White Castle survived, so. Standard we're, tool, uh, good unit. We're on to the, the next one. Test. I think, yeah, track's gonna be a little rougher, so. We'll see what happens. Yep. All right, it's general time. We found the perfect general for this, all right? So we had it in the bed of the Ranger. We found a, rain, or a general that has a rack on it. Look at this. Perfect. It's it's a, it's a it's basically a White Castle rack. I think that's what Polaris is gonna list it as in their accessories catalog. Very nice piece. Yeah. So yeah, let's, uh, you know, let's see how, let's see how they do. Yeah. We've got the Crave Cam set up again. I mean, this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> All right, real tough break, Doug, fill the people in. A lot of tough breaks happen here. The, honestly, the the Crave test went great. It was right side up, all the way right to the very end. Little hump, just unloaded the suspension a little bit. Burgers went flying, but most of them actually stayed in the machine. Oh, we got the camera. Oh my gosh. Do we have the footage? 
of the crave box i don't know i bet but it came off the same time that tipped over i wouldn't be surprised man so hopefully we got the uh hopefully we got the crave cam for you guys if not we'll you know we'll have it on the next test wow look at this look at this burger accumulation down here i mean wow overall this is a this is a really great machine so we're going around this loop and there were some pretty rough spots and there was at least five times where i thought the burgers were definitely going to fly like we came up to some pretty big whoops and it just soaked them up and they stayed there and it took right till the very end when there was a little hill that we kind of jumped yeah to get them to tip over but honestly the suspension on this machine works spectacularly well it's really really good yeah very plush i think we maintained like a a 25 to 40 mile -ish hour pace yep. yeah he said that's where the the suspension is is really good like in that you right. know, mile an hour that's kind of so. what they've tuned it for you know not so much the real high speed razor type riding you know not as much jumping but that 25 to 45 hitting the trails and man it's it's really good really really good in that range so right all right so we're going to do a count on the burgers i think and see how many we have left i mean i think well, our organizational structure is basically gone after that jump, yeah. but we still got to get into a pro and see what happens with that. I think the, the pro is going to be the same track we did uh, right now with the general, but yeah, overall, right. good unit. We can come back from this. All right, Rick, we've made it to the big dog. It's time to rip. We're on a pro XP. We've got the burgers in the back. R.I.P. those burgers. They're getting scattered. End <laughs> we of get, the, day. get the Crave Cam going here, but they're just showing us a bunch of cool stuff. The new features in the Ride Command are really excellent in terms of tracking the other people in your group, following the leader of the group, laying down a track, like just a bunch of really, really good features. Um, but what I'm most excited about is we were just told that we're going to hit a pretty good jump. Yeah. So I like jumps. We're going to send this thing. I think we're going, you know, maybe off the approved path a little bit on this one. So, right, we won't tell anyone that. Though. Right. Gosh dang, here comes Rick for the Super Sun. Oh, the White Castle! No! Okay, here comes Pat. Heck yeah! <laughs> that was awesome. Whew. These guys are just senders. Oh no! Oh no! Rick, what is? Oh my God! <laughs> that was... These guys! <laughs> that These was... guys—they—they they knew. 
I said this, hey, I want to scatter these burgers. They said this. They knew the place. <laughs> these guys do not. These guys are pros. Do not mess around. I mean, we talk about this stuff in the past and we tell you guys that they're out here giving these machines the beans to test them. No, oh, man, that's- you, a... you see, that's the real thing. This is super cool, like, you know, you often think that the people behind this stuff, you know, don't really have a sincere interest in it. Polaris, that's not the case. Not These true. guys love this stuff. Whew, that was them, excellent. Hey, listen, I want to scatter <laughs> this crave crate of burgers. They said this, yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> they get the joke. All right, so we're going to clean this mess up and then uh, head back up front. <laughs> Great day overall. Had a, didn't know what to expect going into this, like I said. Haven't been to one of these press events before. First one, pretty freaking sweet. Had a lot of fun out here. Yeah, man, it's, you know, it turns out the people that are behind these machines, you know, are real enthusiasts. And that's the coolest thing about this, to, you know, to me. So yeah, we came out, we drove the Ranger, we drove the General, we drove the, the Razors and the Sportsman, and all of those machines have a number of, you know, nice updates from the previous model year. Um, everything worked very well, but the coolest thing is just meeting the people and seeing that there is real passion, you know, that yeah. goes into these things. and. The changes are being made because people are asking for the changes to be made. They listen to the customers, they make the changes. I mean, it makes sense, right. so. Yeah, ripping these things today, and like you said, you know, hearing from the people that are behind the scenes making this stuff happen is pretty cool. And, you know, when they say that they like what you're doing, that's a you know very humbling feeling too, so. Glad we were able to come out here and, you know, run all these things and uh, really validate that the suspension in all of them is good. Um, I think it's safe to say that, you know, everything we drove is uh, burger tested, burger approved. So, uh, yeah, I think that's it, Doug. I mean, uh, do so, think? yeah, I mean, when we get back to the shop, you know, we had some talks with Polaris. We got to write up an agreement because they want to go ahead and install um, basically a, a White Castle burger test stand, you know, yeah. in their facility now, so. They actually tried to hire me as a chassis engineer Right. Uh, you know, because that technology is patented, but I said, uh, full time blocks are. <laughs> so we'll work with them, though, and that's, you know, really going to bring their products to a new level, this White Castle. Does. Anyways, moving on, uh, huge thank you to uh, Polaris, the whole team, for bringing us out, showing us the goods, yeah, showing us a I good want, time. I want a freaking Traeger grill, too. Oh, that's yeah. Tight. I should have had that on video. This yeah. is random drawing. Yeah, Rick Dunn grill. It. They're announcing this drawing when this Traeger grill got a helmet up there. Doug looks at me, points, and says, that's you. I said, I don't know that it is. And then guess what? It was. So <laughs> thanks to Doug for that. He basically probably did some behind the scenes action there to make that happen. You so. never know. But yeah, uh, appreciate all you guys watching, subscribing, donating on Patreon, buying parts on the parts site. It, uh, all that stuff is keeping us out here doing this. So really appreciate it. But until the next time, see you guys later. Thanks for being a part of it. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to do that on purpose. And then I realized it was funny, and I'm like, oh, I just got to roll with it. Oh, frick, dude. Now it's going to be a great video. Yeah, I agree. It's still recording? Yep. Nick, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, dude. Listen, yeah, listen, we got excited, dude. Freaking ripping with Pat. Forgot to put the camera away with the record button. She's broke as. Shit. I think this might be the last time. Will it save the file if I take the battery? I, I don't know. Leo, will it save? Tell us, give us a sign. Leo, give us a sign, bro. What is this technology? Oh my God, look how broken it is. Everything's sideways now. Oh Frick. my God, this thing is freaking Wanda's this is camera. crazy, dude. Wanda's vision. <laughs> All right, this thing's f***ed. All right, let me get them on this, right?